hi guys welcome to my channel for today's video i'm going to be showing you how i get this professionally done looking nails at the comfort of my home I hope so excited so anyway these are the items i'm going to be using first things first iapa fingertip art that i got from dubois they are clear in color and i can use them as stick on or tips um, and then in this little polythene bag i have the little decoration bits in there and then again look at my collection and then i have cotton wool up on the sides kitchen towel i've got a nail file nail buff up and then there's also this um it's called remover i love for this thingy this one the one i'm holding for cutting the fingertip nail art because they come really long yeah and then i have a brush to just brush away like dust particles and blah, blah, blah. you'll see how i use it and then pusher and that other like clipper thingy that i use as a nail cutter and to remove uh, cuticles as well i love for uh, I like to line my towel with the kitchen towel so that it catches all the dust particles. I love to make sure to have a dustbin around to just keep emptying. Okay, so here's my uh, UV light which has seen better days and my cup of tea that um, will keep me company for this journey. So shall we begin? Cool, cool, cool. For someone who does her own nails, I it's a bit weird that I don't have a nail cutter, no? Okay, cool. Anyway, <laughs> I use this to cut my nails. I love for the nail file to just buff them down. So... Um, this is self-explanatory. I'm cutting them down because I'm going to be adding, you know, the extensions. So I don't really need them to be long, you know. And then uh, I'm going to grab the pusher and just dry push the cuticles back. Dry because I'm not using any, um, any liquid or anything to push the cuticles back. I'm just using the pusher as part of the job because you know if you don't remove the cuticles well then the additional nails like whatever you do to your nails it can end up looking so tacky and so mm, but like the finish it really helps with the finish of the entire look so make sure to rid off all the cuticles by every means necessary using the back of the pusher using your signing in there pusher using that Keep going until you're satisfied with the shape and cleanliness next i'm going to be introducing this cuticle remover gel 
and um, I'm just going to be applying it at the base of the cuticle. I don't know if that's base or my tip, but yeah, just apply it. It can be very um, harsh on the skin, skin. So make sure you only put it up on my cuticle in Akua, okay? And then don't leave it on for too long. It can really, it can really be painful and like eat at your skin. So you need to be careful with this one. I got this one off of Dubois as well. So yeah. Again, with the pusher, you just want to go in and push the cuticles. With the help of this gel, it's going to make it even nicer and cleaner finish, yeah? Don't be too hard. Just be a little bit gentle with it. Not too gentle, but hard enough that you're getting off the cuticles, but not too hard that you're eating at your nail bed, okay? Yeah, so just be gentle. I'm going to go over this twice. What I mean is... Uh, see, I've started with the thumb. So thumb, mpaka the small finger once. Nikisha fika kwa small finger, then come back again. Uh, push from the thumb all the way to the little finger. I love it. That's it. Wipe it off, wash it off, and boom, I'm done. Then move to the next hand because we don't want it to sit for too long and eat at our skin and nail bed, okay? Sour. were to do just a basic nail manicure you're done so you go in with your lotion and oil your hands and like cuticle oil and all of that but for me i was because i'm doing tips and i was actually just trying to rush out of the house i had an engagement um it had to be manicure for this day and i was to come back and do like the tips and the acrylics later on not acrylics just the tips later on but yeah if you're just to do a nail nail manicure hand manicure whatever you are done at this point just massage your hands massage some cuticle oil on there which you're going to see later on but yeah mimi ni juni na rakisha kwenda mahali but otherwise if it's a as seamless as possible um, so I thought to go ahead and just measure out nails for each finger so that you know when I start again to when I come back to do the tips it will be easier for me now what you need to remember is that the smaller the number the wider the fit okay so like number zero or one is wider than number eight okay so is on number eight would go to but anyway the nails are any the each nail has a number on there so you shouldn't get that twisted so just try to fit um each nail and do it individually because no one finger is like the other okay there might be a bit of similarity but not completely so now because i want to put mine as a tip <clears throat> i'll go ahead and fit it but not completely to the end now if i was doing like a just stick ons then that would be a perfect fit but because i want to do it as a tip then i want something slightly wider so that when i fit it and move it up kidogo slightly then it covers the whole nail bed do you get what i'm saying okay let me just let me show you i can show you better than i can explain it so this is the other part of this um 
DIY that is a bit strenuous. If you don't get the fitting right, then you might take a lot of time either filing it down or, you know, just undoing it or the work will just look shady. So take your time here. Um, that one is a contender, so I'll put it on the side and try like different... Uh, different numbers to see which one will give me the perfect fit that i'm going for okay but yeah let me let me just wipe these hands first because girl it's a little greasy you know okay so here i've gotten a different number i don't remember which one exactly i'm so sorry it's probably number two yeah so i'm checking to see if it fits end to end alafu when i move it slightly along the nail bed does it still cover the entire nail bed ama una get because even like this it's a little wide but now if i move it just a smidge lower right does it cover end to end that's what i'm looking for okay ah yeah this one is also an okay fit but you see up at the end it will remain a lot of the nail bed will be left open so that's not what we're looking for we're looking for when i put the tape on top it covers majority of the ends do you get me so that it doesn't hang yeah so i went again with a different number and i think we found it guys i think we found it because this one look if i move it lower it still covers end to end right Anna, this end is covered i might have to move it a little bit higher and cut it down go towards the end but you see the all the ends are covered i hope my pata sour good ah yeah now i'm gonna move on to the next one Woohoo! so now keep trying until you get the perfect one then put it aside i love now you can move the rest back to the bag so that there's no confusion of the numbers okay cool okay it's the next day lighting has even changed girl <laughs> anyway so first thing i want to do is go ahead and dehydrate the nails just in case there's any oils over there and what i'm going to be using is just the acetone and you know cotton ball why am i doing this you ask that's simply because oil and glue do not go well together and for the next step i'm going to be attaching the stick-ons to my nails so that's that so then what I want to do next is rough up the nail bed just a little bit. Remember to do it in one direction so as to not bruise the nail bed. Um, just rough it up a little bit so that the glue adheres. Kabisa, kabisa, kabisa. <laughs> Now, this part right here is where professional work and mediocrity is separated, okay? Yes, 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 yes. The even more professional route would be to go in with an electric file. You know those ones that, you know, burrs on your nails and whatever? But I don't have that, so I'm just going to go ahead and use my nail file. Please, 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 please be careful so as not to hurt the nail bed and the skin around the nail, okay? Because that can be really painful and, you know, it'll look me bad. <laughs> A tip I've found to be helpful is to always feel with your finger just to feel how blended it is. If you feel any bumps and whatever, go on ahead and keep buffing, okay? I 
am going for a stay later this time around and just to cut on the time I'll need for filing, I'm just going to, you know, snip off the ends in a triangular-ish way. <laughs> And this is the skeleton of what we're working with i'm gonna go ahead and like sharpen it and you know make it more nicer in a bit but yeah just keep going on to feel um if the blend is seamless and all of that good stuff and now i'm just gonna want to replicate what i've done to my left hand to my right hand in terms of the length and the shape i love you bada bing bada boom magic trick Before I start the application, I like to have a small cotton ball with a half and half concentrated uh, surgical spirit and water just to catch the spillages. Does that make sense? Okay, no wait, you'll see what I mean. Mm -hmm. 